Okay. And it's the treatment of girls within the anime community. Do you mean like uh, real girls or anime girls? Yeah, real girls. Okay. Like, we're both mistreated, in- just so we're yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Unorthodox panel featuring me, Cheyenne of Cheyenne New, and my group of friends. We cover news, politics, and various social dilemmas that plague the timeline. We are much better than your average Joe, and that includes Joe Rogan. Today's topic is all about anime. But before we get into that, let's see who we're talking to today. Natalie, how's it going? It's going. Finals are coming up. Big stress, but it's okay. I'll make through. I'll make it through. Awesome. And our other guest today is Teddy. Teddy, what's up? Just got vaccinated, y'all. Just go ahead and make your appointments. You know, get get all the shots. <laughs> Which one did you do? First dose. Uh, Pfizer. Nice. Same. Natalie, are you vaccinated? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> All the Walgreens around me are just like, sucks, bitch. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, okay. I had to go through Novant. Mm, yeah, I need to call my doctor for multiple reasons, but <laughs> the vaccine being one of them. Yeah, I did atrium. Atrium. Yeah. My mom ended up going all the way out to Carolina Beach to get hers. That's why. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you are a, Vir- a Virginia resident. <laughs> it's like, I gotta get that vaccine. She's yeah. kind of here. we all necessary. Hope. I'm also a little nervous because I'm supposed to be getting a tattoo soon and it's in that area and I'm (laughs) I also have some allergies to medication so I've been a little Uh, hesitant when it comes to the vaccine just because I don't know what I'm gonna have a reaction to (laughs) yeah and you definitely when they when they uh get in there they're they're definitely gonna screen you uh but um, it seems like Pfizer gives you the least amount of side effects that's what I'm hoping for yeah Yeah, just a sore arm for me all right, so we're going <laughs> to go ahead and get started on our magical journey. Um, I personally started watching anime probably like the tail end of elementary school, near the beginning of middle mm. school for our international guests. That's around six year. I was like 11 or 12. Um, I started watching anime actually from a combination of Blockbuster. They had an anime section Wow. And whatever Funimation gave to us on demand. Aside from that, there was also um, obviously Tsunami and mm-hmm. some other like old, old channels that don't exist anymore that showed old anime like um, that. We'll get into it. I don't remember <laughs> the name of it right now. I think I remember Jetix had a couple of animes on there. Yeah. Like there was this one where it was like a plain looking girl in a tracksuit and she had to like deal with all the high school hooligans. Mm-hmm. I remember watching that after Inuyasha came on. Sounds like an anime. Yeah. So my anime experience was basically I watched anything that I could see. Like if it came into my eyesight, I was watching it. Um, but at this time, all the boys in my school were just like really into Naruto and like, I wasn't super into Naruto at first because you, we all know what the first half of Naruto was like. Believe it. It wasn't great. (laughs) It was Uh, not great. I wouldn't say, well, I didn't, well, I have a confession, man. I, I never really watched all of Naruto. Yeah, just. I had someone like kind of like sum up the story of what happened. Like I didn't really watch part one. I saw all the fight scenes like on like YouTube and whatnot. And uh, when uh, the Shippuden came out, I watched a couple episodes, but like, yeah, I didn't really watch all of Naruto. So fun fact, this is um, especially surprising to me because I've known Teddy since we were like 15 years old. And we co-founded an anime club in high school. And Mm -hmm. everyone in that freaking club was obsessed with Naruto to the point where people kept giving each other nicknames based on that freaking show. And you're telling me Mm -hmm. (laughs) you never saw it? (laughs) Well, not never saw it. I know of Naruto and I've seen like whatever episodes I ever, whatever I've seen, I had, I just haven't like watched it start to finish. Who wants to tell me about their animator? (laughs) 
I can go. Okay. <laughs> Take the heat off of Teddy for a little bit. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I started around the same time, but would have been a different time period for you. <laughs> everyone else since I'm younger. I started end of elementary into middle school. I this is, sounds so sad. I have like oh, okay. a not great home life. Oh. So I would like lock myself in my bedroom, black out the curtains, and just sit in front of my desk on my little tiny computer and would just watch anime. <laughs> and it was partially blockbuster because my friend's older brother would take us and he would grab animes and like video games and we would all watch and play together. So he was what started me. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> but then it became Netflix started coming out. And this was when Netflix still used to send you like DVDs. Oh, you know oh like, what a time. <laughs> you DVDs. I was super late to the Netflix game. No, my mom had it. Very excited about it. Cause they were sick of Blockbuster. They were like, I'm tired of taking you. I'm over it. <laughs> I was like, Send an email, come back. yeah. And uh, so when Netflix first started, very exciting. And all of the animes that I ever watched were the first ones on Netflix. In California, anime really wasn't that big. You would find a few like Sanrio and Daiso shops in the mall, but like the culture wasn't there. Y'all didn't have like an FYI or whatever those called, five stores. Mm-mm. Not that I remember. I was also like 11. <laughs> yeah. so, was, like, the first couple of anime that you watched? Uh, Fruits Basket, Full Metal Alchemist, and uh, I don't remember the, it was in that theme. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember what was on early 2000s Netflix because that's all that I watched. But it was definitely Fruits Basket and Full Metal Alchemist were like my very first. And then after that, it kind of turned into like Black Butler and Death Note and all of like the quote unquote like classics or like cults. They call it starters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really like quote unquote bullied <laughs> for liking anime until I moved here, <laughs> which is sweet old North Carolina. When I lived in California, no one really cared. Yeah. They were like, word, good for you. <laughs> like yeah, I, I, had, I, moved here, I had anime pins all over my backpack i had a domo backpack if you guys remember oh. what domo is the little i had a domo <laughs> backpack what a time, what a time. <laughs> and i had i still have the anime pins i had and a lot of them were from japan because my aunt's japanese and she would visit and she would bring me stuff like stuff back which was very exciting for me that's and i had a lot of manga Mm-hmm. And then I moved here and I basically got <laughs> not bullied in the sense of I was, what is the word? It was more of a wanting to fit in and someone told me it was weird. So I stopped because <laughs> oh. I had just moved here in the middle of seventh grade. I didn't have any friends. And I was like, I need to be liked right now to survive. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of like chucked everything. So a lot of the stuff that I still have managed to the great purge of 2012 and <laughs> survived, but I just stopped liking it and went cold turkey until about I would until end of high school mm-hmm. was when I started getting back into it again because I was still under this impression that like I shouldn't like it. Oh that it's weird. That's well sad. now it's cool I and it's know. pop culture. And now it's a like exactly it is a cool thing to do now and everyone likes anime and it's just kind of like where was that in middle school (laughs) when I was trying to make friends because everyone in middle school that liked anime was really freaking weird (laughs) and I was like I don't fit into this either like I want to like anime and listen to sleeping with sirens but I also don't want to be a furry <laughs> now I personally identify with you on so many points, oh. especially sleeping with sirens. So um, good. If you can't hang in a, a trophy father's trophy son, uh, <laughs> bomb.com oh. version two. <laughs> if you're James Dean, then or if I, if you're Audrey Hepburn, then I'm James Dean. Solid. That's it. <laughs> Like, okay, so for me, anime was more of a thing that I shared with my brother. So I didn't really talk about anime in school until 
I moved to North Carolina. <laughs> Like See, when I met all these nerd friends of mine. Yeah. Middle school is such a hard time to be alive <laughs> in. Middle school is so tough. Because mm-hmm. that's really what makes or breaks like actual friend circles. And it's just everyone is so self-conscious that they project onto other people. And it's just a very sad time. <laughs> I agree with you. If I, could, <laughs> if I could remember all the middle school memories. Well, oh, yeah. How not bad for everyone. Some people did have lovely middle school experiences, such as mm-hmm. myself. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'm very proud of you. Good. Just be yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. Me and my friends all read the Hunger Games and Twilight together. I'm glad you got that part of your. You read the Hunger Games. I read Kite Runner, bro. <laughs> that shit was mm-hmm. so sad. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Ooh, instead of having a uh, what's it called um, a scene phase, I was just really in the country music from during middle school. I'll take my scene phase and pink. Hey, hey, magic. you know what? To each their own. Yeah. Um, there's something just lovely right, about well, like this this sad yeah, country music that just hit me somehow. <laughs> um, all right, but let's see. Let's talk about uh my journey in the anime. I actually got into anime like really late. Um. So, like, I knew what anime was from, like, Osmosis. My brother was actually pretty interested in it. Like, he was watching, like, part one Naruto's on, like, Toonami and stuff. And I'm, like, and I'm, like, the ones I mean, like, what's, what are you watching? That looks weird. And, you know, what? it probably was, like, the fact that, like, I didn't like him at the time. So, like, it's just, like, whatever he was doing, I, I probably didn't like. So, um, yeah, I just kind of, like, watched from, like, the sidelines. The only, like, show that I seen, like, a full episode of before I, I really got into anime was actually one episode of, like, Full Moon Alchemist. And, like, just, like, after, like, watching the ending, it's like, wow, that was a cool show. And never watched it again. <laughs> Until, um, actually, I got into anime in my uh, freshman year of uh, high school. That was, like, my introduction to anime. Like, uh, the people I met there, really in anime, they kind of told me, like, the sites to watch it on. And I did my binge. Um I picked up a series actually on YouTube of Rama One Half, and it's about like this uh, this boy who uh, turns into a girl because he fell into this um, cursed lake. And he anyone to, like, listening to this podcast should know what Ramna Ramna Ma One Ramna. Half is. Well, I mean, I thought it was like a hidden hidden gem. Like when I mentioned it, it's like, what is that? What is at my local public school library? Mm-hmm. I actually read some at the library at our old school too. Fruits yeah. Basket was at mine. Yeah, that's. Yeah, check it out. Oh boy. Speaking of, I, I just know. ordered an authentic Japanese version of it. Very excited. Yeah. It'll be here in like three months. Quick side sure. Have you read Fruits Basket Another, where it's like the next generation? Mm-mm. Oh my God. Spinoffs scare me. Oh my God. But it's I'm the sorry. children. You don't see I, the actual like old characters. I just like whole I don't new know characters. If I can do them. it because like their invested. love story was just so. But you want to like, see their produce the production of the love. The you know what I would have loved a continuation of is Love So Life. I don't know if anyone. I, don't know one. I dropped has, it. But it's such a good manga. Like it. Ugh, it's boy. so good. It's so good. It's so good. Plus, like, like I just really like kids. So like. Her like babysitting Aoi and Akane just make me so happy. Anyway, it's very cute. I would have loved to have seen Aoi and Akane grow up more. Can't relate. Uh. <laughs> uh, let's see. I, for, I forgot lost my train of thought. Um, That's fine. Yeah, basically, I watched like Rama Half. That was like the first um, anime. Like I watched like start to finish. Then I got into uh, Brotherhood. I mean, not Brotherhood, but Full Metal Alchemist. Then I watched Brotherhood. I watched uh, Clannad. I watched, like, after I got into Clannad, that's when I started watching, like, rom-coms. I think my favorite one out of the bunch, out of all the ones I, like, I watched so far is My Brides a Mermaid. I've heard of it. I haven't watched it. It's honestly, like, like... Not not even like kidding, like it's like nonstop kind of funny. Like, like it's you know, I know it's subbed and it's hard to like you know get the language barrier, but like it's it was just like rolling funny the whole time. Back to back to back. Yeah. 
I don't think I've watched an anime that like genuinely made me laugh over and over. Really? Everything, everything is just, everything that I like watching is very dramatic. Oh. So like, I don't love Slice of Life. I'd rather read love Slice it. of Life in comedies than watch it. I don't. I, that's how I feel about action. I like to read action. Well, actually, no. I like, I like to read how action gets more. animated. Yeah. Because in mangas, act, like action is kind of hard to fi- follow, especially if it's fighting scenes, because you don't get to see them actually like moving and like being animated. And that's the only reason I will watch action like and prefer it over manga. That is like the only time I've ever. Yeah. yeah. To prefer the Naruto it. fights are definitely going hard. I'll tell you that. <laughs> But I kind of like skipping it's some awesome. fighting scenes, so maybe that's why. You would skip the fighting scenes on your action-related content? I've skipped so many Baruto fighting scenes. Oh, well, <laughs> he, that's just because Boruto sucks. <laughs> it doesn't suck. Anyway, uh, the first couple of anime I watched were like Kadocha, which was about like a little kid uh, movie star. Um, oh. And then there was, of course, Clanad. And then there was like a uh, school's best student council and um, Princess Tutu. So cute. So cute. That opening, that, that still gives me, I love that opening. I play it sometimes like when I'm just feeling low and it's like, oh, I want to hear this like nice little happy song. Yeah. I think my first experimental show was like Utero or something where it was like the t- black girl that wanted to be a prince. I'll look it up. But one of you tell me about how you were treated. Like, well, Natalie, you already talked about how you were treated differently and whatnot. But how do you feel now as like yourself? I mean, in what? what The grind never stops. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I really like anime. Everyone in my life knows that I like anime. If they find it cringy, like sucks for them. I don't really have anyone in my general vicinity being like haha that's weird and it's like you also can't talk that kind of crap in front of someone that already has two anime tattoos at that point you're getting hit yeah but like (laughs) tinder and stuff i'll have like anime in my bio and like every single guy's first opening is name your top five or i'm like okay bet i can (laughs) if you want me to (laughs) or what's your favorite or uh or at least just name animes not even my favorite just name them name them Watch yeah them. i'm like name That's which it. ones do, it's like, do you i get fucking a liar. <laughs> like, you and then they'll start like talking out of their ass and i'll be like oh did you watch this one i really like this one i'm more of like a shoujo girl but sometimes i'll watch shonen but i like also really like jose and they're like huh what are you talking about they don't know the titles they don't know the t- <laughs> you're watching (laughs) that's why i feel weird naming like my favorite anime or manga because there's literally so many of them and if you think i'm reading or watching mainstream ecchi all day you're wrong don't get me wrong i definitely watched my fair share of like ecchi titles i was a growing teenage boy bro i still read smut you can't stop me oh my god there's some good smut out there too like there's like story i'm talking about story like I'm invested. Smut, literally, in like characters. hentai with a story, with a plot. <laughs> hentai with a plot. <laughs> I forget the name of this thing, and I've, I think I rewatched it twice. But it's about like this art student that goes to like this art school, and he like finds like this hole in the wall to like his uh, like roommate, and they like make a pact to like watch each other through the hole. I saw that. It's messy. Very oh, thank messy. God. I was like, oh, please, so someone say that I'm not. They seen it too, so I'm not alone on this one. <laughs> yeah, people re-upload it to um, Pornhub like all the time. Uh, oh, it is animated. I haven't seen it animated yet. Oh, no, I definitely read. I read all the way through it. Okay, so the anime I was talking about is uh, actually Revolutionary Girl Utena. This is what I was talking about. Seen it, but I haven't. Oh, my like, birthday too. Seen it. I know it. I've never watched it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It was like it the has most... a very uh Sailor Moon vibe. Is it I by the same those author? Long, long legs. The yeah, it was like the most experimental one I've ever like seen because it was like lesbians and there was a lot going on. Most and, experimental. Yeah. Hmm. Most experimental anime. I guess let's see. 
I found a list of every anime that used to be on early 2000s Netflix, and it's making me so nostalgic right now. It's crazy. Okay. Do you want to share your screen? Uh, it's on my phone, but I can't oh. find it on my screen. Hold on. Pause. Sorry, my camera is like at the bottom, so you'll see a lot of my fingers. Oh, interesting. Um, no. Well, now he's looking for that. I have a so how, do you, uh, how do you feel about how like you when you first started anime and how you like it now have your taste changed at all uh i would definitely say so um when i was like when i first started out like i was definitely watching like um a lot of um rom-coms mixed with like really edgy stuff and and it's definitely has changed like i'm definitely moving towards like a more like i'm trying to check out shonen more often now and mm-hmm. uh, stuff that's made like actually more adult like Joe say like content like I want to like see like you know I'm tired of like you know being in the high school setting like give me like something that's in like a college setting or give me like adults like going through the world which is why I like Clannad after story like I grew with his characters and like all the sadness and all the all the fun times and like it's the thing about like really sad anime like they really like can bring you through those like valleys and mountains because there's parts where I'm actually tearing up and there's parts where I'm like laughing out loud. Like the, um, spoilers for Clannad real quick, uh, spoiler warning. There's a scene in After Story when, after they uh, um, came to like their parents' house, they basically, uh, his, like, uh, I forget, what's her name? Nagisa's dad basically jokes that like, oh, it sounds like you're pregnant, huh? And like slaps her on the back and everything. And like, and they're all both like freaking out because like she's actually pregnant. He's like, oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I did that. Um, but yeah, like valleys and peaks on that show. I love my love Clannad. A good Jose anime that I recommend is Paradise Kiss. I don't know if anyone else has seen it, but it's very realistic when it portrays is like how- fashion designer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it has a very Nana feel to it. Ooh. It um also you disabled uh screen sharing, so I can't screen share. Me? But yeah, it says host disabled it. Isn't it might be because you're recording. Oh no, it didn't change anything. Okay, how about now? Oh baby. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to share it now? Let me finish my thought and then I'll start sharing. Okay, But uh, it's very realistic in how it portrays relationships and how you want to be with someone, even though they're very bad for you. And then finally coming to terms with it and not being with them. Because everyone wants life main lessons. character. Huh? Oh, life lessons. Yeah. I like everyone, when you watch anime, you're like, oh yeah, they definitely need to end up with him. Even if they're like super toxic, everyone is like rooting for the male lead. But, like, this one was one of the first ones that was, like, super realistic in the fact that they understood that they weren't, like, beneficial to each other, so they ended it. Was it me? I was like, that was one of the first animes I ever watched where they were like, bro, this isn't healthy for either of us. Maybe we should stop. Wow. Sorry, I'm I'm very much a second male lead. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) It was the second lead. Okay, I'm sharing my screen now. Can you see it? Please don't judge my tabs. Don't look at them. <laughs> I don't. I see can't anything see anything yet. yet. Oh like, my god! <laughs> oh, angel beats. Oh, oh, I, I, I cut up with some angel beats. Now that's another funny. Oh, it makes me cry. Oh, I never ending. got into Orin High School Host Club, but everyone I knew loved it. It's so good. I have the uh, ending theme. It's like saved on my phone. But only like the beginning ripped before it gets into the Y'all, y'all not even gonna believe what I got here. Were you a Hitalia girl? No, I never watched it. I was. I'm a Hitalia boy. Why are you looking at me like that? I was just suspicious. No, sorry. Okay. Teddy. Uh, Black Butler, always good. Grow up. (laughs) This end scene right there. I don't know why I have it on my computer, but I do. And. Love this show. What is this from? This is from Angel Beats. It's like the end, uh, the last scene of the show. Where he's like in the, the whatever world they are now. And, yeah. Oh, Baka and Tess. Oh, I oh I love Baka. I've been trying to find this actually. It was on I Netflix. I never watched it. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It got me through studying. 
I definitely watched Rosario plus Vampire. I watched a couple of, I, I think I only got the episode seven. I used to watch it on YouTube when uh, you could find a lot of like dubbed YouTube or er, uh, animes on YouTube. <laughs> That's when I was watching it. That's when I watched the first uh, version of Fruits Basket. They would do it in Listen, three parts. Totally hard dubbed. It'd be like Fruits That's Basket episode 25, part Cho one, bets. Three. That was my. <laughs> I loved Chavit so much. I have also the intro sh- er, saved, the uh, Let Me Be With You. Let me be with you. Ooh, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist, duh. Girls Bravo. Oh, that, I watched <laughs> I the first episode. <laughs> I definitely watched it. I was very into boobs. <laughs> it was like big boobs. <laughs> Very big excited. Knockers, big That's the only fingers. reason I've watched Elfin Lied and High School of the Dead. What? <laughs> okay, okay. I understand High School of the Dead, but there was so much blood associated with that. Boobs. Okay. Before we move on to that, Stigma of the Wind, very creepy. They're cousins. High School oh. of the Dead. Really? <laughs> I had the biggest crush on the the chick, the the girl in the front. This woman, right really? here. Really. I really, had the biggest crush on her. I was like, I'm so. <laughs> was there Not two sword like girl? antennas coming out of her head? <laughs> now it's sword girl. But at that time, when I was a growing girl, I was like, I'm in love with this girl. I want to look like her. It was one of those defining moments in my childhood where I was like, Do I want to be you or be with you? See, <laughs> this is where I was sure that I definitely had a nurse, a nurse thing, and I was like, the nurse every time, any scene. <laughs> scene. <laughs> When she squeezes Please take her care of me. <laughs> man, man. Have y'all watched Darker Than Black? I finished I that, actually. That one was, was a wild ride, actually. Oh, but it's so good. And the art style is so unique. Mm-hmm. He reminds me of Joker, actually. Mm. Vampire Kiss Anyone? <laughs> um, I think Tess has watched that. Like really big into the vampire stuff. Like not me though. I um, I don't know. I just dance with the vampire button. That's the only one. I oh my god! Doing. Yes, and that it's so really creepy one. too because she's like a hundred years old, but she's definitely a, a lolly, which is like yeah. But they're not playing on like that sexual tension of it. It's more of like like a no, romance. They are between. though to a certain yeah. degree because oh, don't they no. getting like linked to each other and then suddenly it's kind of like I need to be around you all the time. Also, I'm half naked. Oh, As a, like a literal looking child. I hate okay, it. well, let me have to rewatch this to find out because, like, this has been a while since like, I've seen this. <laughs> it's just weird. I just I can't understand a grown man having a relationship with someone that looks like they are ten years old. Okay, I, I can definitely <laughs> like. I that. just mm. but that, that that's a that's a spot that we uh, that should not be actually. D Gray Man, uh, super good, amazing, love it so much. It. Would die for it. So uh, good. People told me about it though. Super good. Recommend. So in anime news, there's a couple of things going on. In sad news, let's start with the sad news and then go into the good news. Mm. Um, I'm probably gonna butcher this name. I am uh, sorry, but Osamu Kobayashi, um, Naruto and Beck director, passes away at 57. Mm-hmm. That's tough, bro. Yeah. Oh, he had kidney cancer. Yeah, he died of kidney cancer. Wow. Um, he's a big like artist. He also directed shows like Paradise Kiss that we mentioned earlier. Um, he did Naruto. Dororo. Good times, good times, and he's gone. Well, <laughs> don't say it like that. <laughs> well, may he rest in peace, and thank you for all the wonderful fights. That I got to watch. Yeah. I, I'll remember them for the rest of my life, especially Rock Lee. But in uh, answers I've always wanted, Pokemon, why Brock left the anime? Because now, him. <laughs> do you guys remember watching Pokemon as a kid? Yes. Well, not episode to episode, but like, yeah. Yeah, so for my family, we mostly, like, had the Pokemon movies. I didn't necessarily watch the shows, but every movie that came out, I was in it. And when they replaced Brock, I was like, what's going on? That's my (laughs) pseudo-representation. That's all I got. 
so, he's just frying pan as an umbrella. It was a little creepy how he was always after the nurse, though. You know, nurse, what was it, Nurse Joy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The the boy, hey, the boy hey. can't, well, well, I mean, yeah, he, he should be no means no man. And his his best buddy, Sudo Wudo. Bento, come here if you're going to cry. Well, Brock, I think, he, well, isn't he doing his own thing now? Like, he's like a Pokemon, like, uh, connoisseur. He left to attend Pokemon Medical School. Medical I guess he wanted to be surrounded by the nurses for life. Hell yeah. <laughs> As uh, he um, I think that's a good uh, way to uh, mix like aspirations and um, perversion. <laughs> perversion. Perversion. I don't know if they should be mixing Just together in the medical obsession. field though. <laughs> Uh, I guess like sexual harassment. <laughs> well, he's gonna be tried as an adult now. HR. <laughs> so uh, I know that me and Teddy are into anime conventions. Natalie, how are you feeling about anime conventions? Have you ever gone to one? I went all the way up to Boston to go to one. Oh, nice! Did you like it? Yeah, it was. Oh, Bento. It was nice. Uh, very warm. Because I went during the summertime and uh, we had to stand outside and like wait in line to go inside. And it was definitely one of those conventions where they were like, please shower. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. (laughs) They're like, please. Tragic. Uh, Lots of cool people dressed up. I wasn't one of those people. Uh, My dad took me because I was like 14. (laughs) Very fun. I went to Comic-Con in Charlotte, but I haven't gone to any anime-related ones in North Carolina. In North Carolina, Yeah. Would you guys feel comfortable going to an anime convention currently? No, absolutely not. Once I get this uh, other uh, shot, yeah. Funny that you mentioned the shot. Would you get go to the anime convention if it was hosted at a COVID-19 vaccine site? Because Northern California has closed a local <laughs> vaccine site for two days to host an anime event. Oh my goodness. That is um, ridiculous. You know That's what? Not in Roseville? I used to Sacramento, have three minutes from there. The Sacramento Convention Center. Represent. I lived in Folsom, which is literally like 20 minutes from Sacramento. Well, it seems like the Weeb uh, and Weeb. Uh, the Wii gang is strong out here. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, the event will be held Friday through Sunday at the grounds with face masks required and social distancing protocols observed. Don't know how they're going to do that. Right. Keep all the anime fans six feet apart, enforced by a fan hammer. Oh, my gosh. Well, to make up for the closure of the two days, the clinic has extended its hours this Monday through Wednesday of the evening of that week's event. Um, But yeah, I don't think I would want to get my vaccine after a bunch of weeps have been in the building. No. Well, I definitely don't have to worry about it after I got my shot. So I'm going to just be there for the activities. I mean, the thing, though, with the vaccine is like it doesn't make you immune from it. It just makes your symptoms less horrible. Yeah, you can still get it. You can still spread it. Well, I'll just keep my mask on. Like a responsible adult. And keep six feet away from everybody. And don't touch anything. And don't touch anything? Not even the drum game that I'm going to play, like, for the whole time I'm there? Oh, what? Oh, like, this drum, like, at the anime cons, they always have, like, this drum game in, like, the game room. Where you have to, like, tap on the drums. I never left the area where they sold things because I was only there for merchandise. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm honestly only there for, just to for play plushies, games with other people. I'm here for figures, posters. Like, I'm here for the items. I've I been to a few, like, panels, but, like, I didn't really, like, pay attention because most of the time it wasn't people I was interested in. Or it was, like, a lot of American dubbers, and I was like, I don't, I don't care about you. <laughs> I'm here for the games, games, cosplay, tournaments, and games. Yeah, the cosplay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like the games, but I also like hearing from voice actors because I kind of think I could be a voice actor if I put in the work. 
to do anything. I always wanted to be one. Yeah. Came up on that real quick. Are you, are either of you guys interested in cosplay? Are you working on any cosplay ideas right now? Oh, yes. Currently, yes. Care to share? (laughs) Anyone? Yeah. I'm working on a Gara cosplay. Oh. But Gara early anime. So when he's in that black suit with his little fishnets and his white little wrap, I'm working on making the uh, gourd right now. I had to scrap my first one because I uh, messed up my paper mache, (laughs) but I'm working on it a second time. Because I figured by the time Halloween rolled around, I'd probably have hair (laughs) that I could do something with. And so Garth has it. short hair, and also there's also wigs too. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't want to spend money on wigs. Use it that. I've been doing a lot of what are they called when they're like working cosplays where you wear it, but like you can wear it in public and it wouldn't look weird. Like realistic. Yeah. Like like a modern interpretation. Yeah, I I just call them like lazy cosplays because that's. <laughs> I'm just like putting on regular streetwear, but if you think about it, it looks like a certain character, but it's not entirely one. Cognito cosplay. Huh? Like some Cognito cosplay. Yeah, kinda. Uh, I did one for Kyo because his outfits are pretty mundane. And I have his little bracelet because I'm a big weeb. He's cute. Oh, God, he's so cute. I'm in love with him. I tried to have a fruit basket tattoo. Yeah, I tried to role play as Kyo at an anime convention once. Did not go well. It, it's hard. <laughs> what, it's like, like questioning, like, what are, you, what are you like? Were they asking? Why are you were screaming? You? Yeah, because it's like Kyo's just like standoffish, doesn't like people. So I'm literally and just anger. like, I'll fight you. <laughs> like there wasn't much to do. I left. That's hot. <laughs> um. I'm working on a uh, special kind of maid costume. So it'll be like my first, like, um, basically I'll be dressing in like a different gender. So like, it'd be the first time like doing a cosplay like that. We love yeah. that. Um, I don't want to say what type of uh, maid it is because it's going to go on the internet and someone might steal my idea. But okay. I haven't seen it been done before. So I'm excited for that. Wow. Excited for you. Um, I have a few cosplay ideas I have in mind that I want to do this year. One is like Princess Habana from Fire Force. The second is definitely Toru from Fruits Basket. And what is called? (laughs) My aunt bought me a Toru uh, outfit when she was in Japan in like 2012, and I wore it once, and then I could never fit it again. Oh. Japan is not kind when it comes to sizing. Yeah, you were also like <laughs> a underdeveloped team. So yeah, and then I I grew. Yeah, this way and this way, and it just did not fit anymore. Very yeah, impressive. Um, but yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, so in my eyes, cosplay was like a sunk cost factory. Like people just spent money on outfits because they wanted to. Turns out it can be uh, quite profitable. Yeah, some people are really crafty when it comes to that stuff. And, and some that people revenue. sell stuff that they make. Yep. Um, according to Japan Today, Japan's number one cosplayer opens her official YouTube channel. Fans rush to subscribe. She's so popular that over 2,000 people try to take her photo at anime convention, and she rakes in over 50 million yen per year for it. Good for How her. much is that? Is that, fi- that 50,000? I think so. It's like, or half a million, because I just take off two zeros to convert it to American currency. Yeah, 50 million. Um, but her name is Inako. I've never heard of her before. I would have to see her before I say anything. Oh, it's yeah. Half a million. Uh, let's, let's show a little video. Hey, guys. I actually had to head out real quick. I'm sorry. Oh, this is really Japanese. Or are you coming back or leaving, leaving? Um, I'm going to be gone for like 30 minutes, so I'm probably leaving, leaving. 30 minutes? So amazing. Yeah, I have to go pick it up. Why would you do this to me? Okay. I'm so sorry. I didn't know how long we we're going to go be going for, so I didn't know. 
Bye. Bye. Men. See ya. Well, I apologize. <laughs> Forgive me. Okay. Absolutely not. All right. See you guys. See ya. See ya. Well, that is the last of my anime news. <laughs> Now it's just the girls. Just us girls. Now we can talk about all the shitty stuff we've always wanted to talk about. Like what? (laughs) So what I wanted to do with the three of us, sadly Teddy's gone, but we can make decisions on our own, is talk about what's considered the best anime currently and Mm -hmm. then rank the best animes according to our personal criteria. So like a tier list. Yes. I have a tier list ready for us. I know, I'm so excited. Let me share it now. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. Yes. Oh my God. Well, of course, there's SS, you know, above all else. Yeah. Special A, B, C, D, and F. Solid. I no. have all the world's greatest anime. <laughs> it's so big. Hamtaru. Oh my God. It's the best. Of course, we don't have to do all of these. There's no need to. Our high school host club is 100% S tier. Personal opinion, S tier. Uh, my cat is breathing on my palm. Uh, what? He's <laughs> breathing on my palm. I wish you could see him right now. Oh, but wow. he's like mouth open or mouth agape and like on my palm. That's wild. My yeah. cat likes the uh, loving but distant look. Just clear. my clinger, my stage five clinger. Okay. So what what would you say makes a best anime? Uh good plot, always. But like that's very vague in and of itself. Yeah. It needs to be I need to be able to follow it, but not predict everything that happens. Yeah. I agree. So like, I need to know what's going on, but like I also don't want to know everything. A compelling and interesting storyline. Yes. I like good jokes. Yep. I need some sort of comedy relief. If it's a like a dramatic show, I need something that's going to lighten my mood just a little bit. Yeah. Art style. Mm-hmm. Because that's oh, what God. kept me from watching uh, Attack on Titan, was I didn't like its first art style. Yeah. And I mean, you're probably better for it. I hear bad things about the creator. Oh. Okay, so let's say, let's pick one out of all these hoes. So have you have you uh, read or seen Skip Beat? Yes, it's so good. Where would you rank it? Mm. I guess I want to say almost just B tier. I like the storyline. I like the plot. I think it's a little creepy, their age gap. Yeah. With her and main character. Um, I also am just frustrated in general because she started because of a grudge. And it's like, I mean, there are other ways to express how women are act. And I think it's a little sexist, sexist in the way that, that how they treat women around a show. Because, mm-hmm. like, he's supposed to be this big Casanova and everyone wants to be with him and everyone's obsessed with him, except for main character, because she's better than that. But it's an enjoyable plot. Like, I like watching it, but not for specific reasons. It's just like a comfort anime. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> since I saw it as a kid, like, the whole reveal was really surprising to me as someone who had not really read anything that was, like, super fantasy or other yeah. before. So I have. It surprised me enough that I liked it, but. I have an, a folder on my phone full of, like, anime pictures that I like. Uh-huh. And one of them is actually from the Skip Beat manga when she's, oh, God, you can't even see that because of, like, the. Yeah. Anyways, the skip beat manga when she becomes an angel and has to push show off of like that tower when he's doing his music video. Uh Like that scene just made me like feel things. Yeah, it was was so good. 
I was like, oh my God, she's crying. It looks so realistic. And he doesn't know what to do because he never knew how to act when she was crying. <laughs> oh my God. It, did you read the manga of Skip Beat? No. Okay. So spoiler alert to anyone listening and to, I guess you. Yeah. <laughs> but later on in the um, manga, Sho actually seems, he thinks that uh, main character, I can't remember her name. Is in love with her. Do you remember any of these names? To be honest, (laughs) he like is under the impression that she is in love with him now, and he keeps doing stuff because he's like, "Oh, she's in love with me. She wants me to do this." And it just her inner demons. She's just upset and about everything because this is when she's like finally coming to terms with the fact that she thinks she likes what's his name, Mm -hmm. Corn. I can't remember his real name. I haven't finished it yet, though, so she still doesn't know he is Corn. Gotta be honest, oh my God. I barely remember the plot. <laughs> there's a there's a show that I need you to click on. It's right next to Prince of Tennis. You know where Erased is? Can you find Erased? I can find it. And then it. to the right one, next to Black Clover. Oh, the Alice? <laughs> the Alice? Yeah, that was a good one. That was so good. Uh, Jintama's good, Shugo Chara, um... I have to get close to my computer. My poor eyes. Same. Uh, Kila Kila's good. Chabits. Um, is that? <laughs> I'm so close to the computer. 